I'm Dr. Michael Jensen. I'm a pediatric oncologist and the chief therapeutics officer at Seattle Children's Hospital. I've devoted my career now um, over 30 years to focus on how we can harness the power of the immune system for children with cancer to cure the disease, to cure the cancer, and ideally do it in a way that the side effects of being cured of cancer would be no worse than feeling like you have a cold for a couple days. So that's been my passion, and I've been doggedly pursuing that through being a physician scientist so we can do away with drugs like chemotherapy and radiation that can do as much harm as they do good sometimes. My paternal grandfather was a physician scientist and he became one of the early leaders on an international level for um, vaccines. His work was focused on developing vaccines for diphtheria. And of course, diphtheria at that time, prior to a vaccine, was a terrible killer of, of young children. My um, grandfather wasn't alive when I uh, was born. I didn't get to know him personally. Uh, my dad gave me a steamer trunk of, of manuscripts and laboratory notebooks uh, well before what I could understand what they, they meant, but uh, they, they did serve as a source of inspiration for me to head in this direction. I saw a um, grant award from the AACR, and what caught my eye is that there was a translational research award. And when I got that award, it was for a project that was really a difficult one at the time evaluating whether patients with very aggressive brain tumors had an immune response. And my conclusion was is that I couldn't find the immune response. Either it was too weak or too few in number uh, to be able to isolate and characterize. And, and I credit that award um, and that experience with putting me on this trajectory um, that I followed over the last uh, 30 years, which is let's engineer the immune system. Let's give T cells uh, the ability to recognize cancer where they couldn't do it before through making cells that had these chimeric antigen receptors. And of course, most everyone in the cancer fields knows the CAR T cell story and, and where we are today. It, it's just been a privilege to be part of this journey, to work with so many other gifted scientists and physicians to make it a reality. And, and seeing children who would just 10 years ago not survive their ALL and to see them receive one CAR T cell dose and be in remission 10 days later, and then to see them at patient reunions five years after that, thriving as growing children and adolescents and young adults. You can't put a value on that. It's, it's immeasurable. It's a treasure. I like to really believe that uh, for patients that they can expect much more from this therapy and it's our job to get this therapy to them as soon as possible. And so there's, there's still after 30 years, there's a lot of fire in my belly and I think most all my colleagues would feel the same. We, we get up in the morning and we charge in and, and you know, we, gotta, we gotta move it forward, we gotta move the dial forward uh, for patients.